you and I are fortunate to live in the time after Christ. We've heard the eyewitness accounts of how God carried out his plan of salvation for all people through his only begotten son. You have the biblical record that clearly points to him as the way, the truth, and the life. You know that for the sake of Jesus, because of his death in your place and his resurrection to defeat death for you, God has promised you forgiveness for all sins, all sins, and eternal life with him. And that truly is good news for us. King David, who wrote many of the Psalms, did not have that perspective. He was not looking back in faith. And yet he had the same kind of confidence I was just describing because he had placed his faith in the one who was coming, the Savior that God promised to send. Knowing that Savior was coming gave David the same assurance of mercy and grace and forgiveness that you and I have. And that comes to us through this psalm. The psalm that I'm going to share with you today, number 143. So what I'd like to do is read through this psalm bit by bit and then offer my own paraphrase of the words. We start here at the beginning. O Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my cry for mercy. In your faithfulness and righteousness, come to my relief. Lord, I'm hurting. You and I both know that I've messed up. I've done wrong, and I admit that. But now I don't know what to do. I've come to the conclusion that there is nothing I can do. I don't have a prayer. Well, that's not quite right. I do have a prayer, and I'm offering it to you right now. You're the one who can help, and you have promised that you will. Do not bring your servant into judgment, for no one living is righteous before you. As I said, you and I both know what I've done. I deserve punishment. I have not done what you demand, and I've done the very things you have told me not to do. No one can live up to what you expect. Yet I'm begging you for mercy, Lord. Don't Give me what I deserve. The enemy pursues me. He crushes me to the ground. He makes me dwell in darkness like those long dead. So my spirit grows faint within me. My heart within me is dismayed. It seems as though Satan has complete control over me. He makes me feel guilty, and of course I am. I'm not sure I could feel much lower than I do right now. Sometimes I wish I were dead. I'm, I'm just tired of feeling this bad. I remember the days of long ago. I meditate on all your works and consider what your hands have done. It hasn't always been this bad. If I just stop and look around, I see evidence of you, Lord, and your goodness. I have heard all the stories of how you have delivered your people in their times of need. Your mercy is so obvious in so many lives. I should spend more time thinking about all the good things you have done for me in my life. I spread out my hands to you, my soul thirsts for you like a parched land. Answer me quickly, O Lord, my spirit fails. Do not hide your face from me, or I will be like those who go down to the pit. Okay, Lord, I'm turning to you again for help. I'm desperate. I have nowhere else to turn. Don't ignore me. I need an answer from you soon. Lord, if you don't help me, no one will. Without your aid, 
I will be helpless. Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I lift up my soul. Rescue me from my enemies, O Lord, for I hide myself in you. I believe the promises that you've made to me, Lord. You have the power to help me, to heal me, to save me, to comfort me. I put myself in your hands. Show me what to do. Speak to me, Lord. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. I know that I've turned away from you, Lord, from what you've told me to do. So, God, I'm asking you to give me a refresher course. Teach me again. Remind me how you want me to live. Help me to hear what you are saying. Help me to take it to heart and help me to live according to it. For your name's sake, O Lord, preserve my life. In your righteousness, bring me out of trouble. In your unfailing love, silence my enemies. Destroy all my foes, for I am your servant. My own experience has taught me, Lord, that your ways are best. You will deliver me. You will bring me out of trouble. Yes, I will continue to go astray. I'll be tempted on all sides. So I'm asking you, Lord, help me. Give me the strength to resist temptations. I want to live according to your laws. I want to walk in your ways. I want to be your servant. As you listen to what David said in this psalm, did you hear any words that sounded familiar, words from your conversations with God? All of us has felt, have felt and thought those same things at times, and no doubt will again. When you do, try to follow the example of David. Go to the source. Confess your faults. Talk it out. Hash it out with God. He wants you to come to him and do so with the confidence that comes from knowing that Jesus Christ is your Savior. Remember his death paid for your sin so that you can go confidently to God and ask forgiveness and then join David in praying that God would empower you every day to live the life that responds to his goodness, a life that's pleasing to him. Lord, thank you for the assurance that I can come to you, the one who's in control of it all, that you will hear and listen for Jesus' sake. I thank you that you've led me to faith in Christ, so I have the assurance of forgiveness and life and salvation. Enable me to live with that confidence day after day. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you again today.